In this video, I'm going to go over how a robot mower works, and I'm also going to give you some tips and tricks on purchasing one and let you know if it's going to work on your property because differences in properties can make a huge difference in how easy or how difficult setup is on one of these. Stick with us. Robot mowers can be absolutely awesome for the right piece of property. Basically, first, what we wanna start with is how they work, because robot mowers don't just go out and mow lawn like you traditionally mow lawn. These are set up that you mow lawn on a daily or maybe every other day basis, and this is your blade here. It works similar to what you would see in a large rotary cutter on a large tractor with what you would call a stump jumper or something here that's going to protect anything that you run over. And then you have the small blades here. And these are basically razor blades and it's going to rotate in two directions to save the blades. And believe it or not, these blades will stay sharp for pretty much one season. And it's meant to cut somewhere around a sixteenth of an inch of grass. So that's why you want it to cut more often. And what you see here is this thing will go in a random pattern throughout your lawn. And a lot of people will say, hey, I don't get the stripes that way. But realistically, they don't want to see all these lines in this random pattern throughout the yard. The kicker is you have to remember this unit here is maybe 40, 50 pounds at max. So while it might leave little lines in your yard for an hour, after that, all the grass comes back up and you can't even tell that this mowed your yard. So the goal here is that you have a yard that looks like it's been mowed every single day. It doesn't change, it doesn't get long, it doesn't get short, it just stays the same height. Now height is something else that is very important. In most of these units, this is a Gardena, which is made by Husqvarna, is going to be adjustable. Now in the UK, they cut their grass shorter than we do in the USA. So you'll find that a lot of these are going to cut two and a half inches in shorter. This one is actually 1.9 inches in shorter and it's adjustable here with the one through five setting. Some of them that are more expensive are going to be adjustable via computer system. This computer system down here it tells you basically everything goes on, allows you to put it in different modes, start, stops. It also alerts you via apps of what's happening and it lets you set up schedules to mow. But there's a lot of things that can be either very complicated or not complicated depending on what you buy. I'm going to suggest that you purchase a unit that has an app. It allows you to see where it is in your phone and it also will give you tracking of what's going on. So if you have a GPS inside this, that's even better because then you can set up zones so it can cut different parts of your yard at different periods of time, either throughout the day or on different days. Now with zones, you can also set up separate areas where you'd actually physically have to pick up your mower and carry it to, which if you had a fence and you didn't have a path for this to drive in, you'd have to move this mower inside there. If that's your situation, I'm going to suggest that you maybe really think about getting multiple mowers, maybe less expensive in multiple mowers, one for in the fence and one outside, because these units will run for about 180 minutes, then they will go back to charge. And when they go back to charge, they will follow a path or a line, and the better ones will adjust themselves slightly as they follow that line back so you don't have tracks in your yard because this will go back to charge four to five times a day and if it's always taking the same exact path back you will see those paths so this is the charger for this gardenia and it's similar to what Husqvarna's are. This one is doesn't have the full base on it and that's why it's smaller so it's going to pull up to this guy dock itself charge and then when it's done charging go back out up until the time that you tell it not to. You have three plugs in here in the back. You have basically a boundary wire which is going to come with the kit to install it. You can usually have upwards of a thousand feet on that and then the good ones are going to have a guide wire and that guide wire is going to be put out in maybe a difficult or a narrower piece of property to help get this back to the base because as it's just bouncing around in the middle of nowhere trying to just mow on and it says hey I'm low on battery I have to get back it either has to find a boundary wire to come back 
or it's got to find a guide wire. And if it's in the middle of your property or if it's in this small area and it's bouncing itself around trying to get back closer to the charger, that guide wire is a huge help. So when you're looking for this, apps, cut height, guide wires, if you can possibly do that, and then finding the right mower. Now the mower is a big deal for certain situations, mostly because if you look at the bottom of this, we have our tires out here, and we have our mowing area inside. So we have three and a half inches or so between the outside of the tire and where this can mow. So if you can picture this going through your yard, you're not gonna put this three and a half inches over onto the stones or on landscaping or anything like that. This is gonna be the distance that you're gonna to have to trim. So if you have any areas that are not level, like if you go from concrete to grass and you have a dip, you're gonna to have to keep this that distance away from that dip. Also with trees or anything else, you're gonna see that this area up front, which is much larger, might be the area that you're gonna to have to mow around trees. Now, sometimes the more expensive mowers will actually have an edging program that they'll go out and they'll try to move over and just edge on that one charge. That means they'll basically follow the boundary wire and they'll follow around any other trees that you have wired in because you would go around the trees and then they would try to get closer to that so it would minimize your trimming. But the reality is you're always going to have trimming with this. It's never going to be perfect. So you're going to have to go out with a good string trimmer and just clean things up. That's simply part of owning a robot mower. Although your string trimming should be limited to about every two weeks, unless you're in a rainy season where the grass really grows. A lot of common questions we have, which are the funny ones. What if I have a pet? Will this run over my pet and kill it? No, flat out, if your pet does get underneath this and the blades are spinning, you can see here, the blades are inside, even if they were on the outside, there's nothing holding them there other than the centrifugal force, so it's not going to cut anything. You can get your hand in here. You wouldn't want to. Uh, it may give you a little cut, but it's not a big deal. Kids safe, everything else. The funny part about what people ask with pets is what if you have a dog, it uses the bathroom in the yard, and what's this? Is this going to avoid it? Well, there really is no way of avoiding it or knowing that it's there. So it's going to run it over just like your normal lawnmower would run it over. And the same thing that happens in your normal lawnmower will happen here. It might get some on the tires. It might get it in this area. And eventually from going over the lawn again, it'll clean itself up or you'll end up with a very, very messy mower. So if you do have pets, I would highly suggest you keep your yard as clean as possible, even though your lawnmower is mowing on a daily basis. This is simple, guys. If you have a nice square yard with trees in the middle, this will bounce off the trees. You won't have to wire around them. If you have a round yard, no issue there either. But if you have a yard with multiple different areas that are separated with concrete, separated with a sidewalk, and it has to get to these different areas over top of concrete or through different landscaping areas, it doesn't work well. This is great for a small area where it can go out that's about a third of an acre inside a fence and just go around that fenced area and do everything on the inside. And if you have a piece of landscaping in the center, it's going to take a little bit of extra work to wire around that to make sure that this doesn't get confused and get in that landscaping. If your yard is simple, this works great. If your yard is complex, you have to get a little bit more creative and you can make it work. And you might want to then enlist the help of somebody who's a professional, but for the most part, this is pretty easy. And these guys are real simple to set up. I have a lot of other videos out on different models. We had the Husqvarna 450X that we have a video out on maybe two years ago that had everything in it, a GPS, it had an app. You could control how far over the boundary wire it went. It had a lot of different things that were super cool. And I know they have now made the 450XH, which increases the height, but that's a three to $3,500 mower. And I know a lot of people don't want to invest in that. This package here from Gardenia is also made by Husqvarna. It is a less expensive mower, but at the same point, not all the frills that you get 
but more affordable. This is something to look at. Works also has one out that is even more affordable than this, has less features, but at the same point, works just the same, does everything that this guy would. I also have a video out on that if you'd like to check it out. This is just an overview. A lot of people ask us, well, how, how does it work if I'm cutting three inches of grass? And, and this doesn't go out and cut three inches of grass. Remember, this is cutting a 16th inch to an eighth inch. It's cutting it very often, and it's making sure that your lawn always looks manicured. The lines that it leaves will disappear within about an hour, so you won't see them over time. And that's the beauty of this. Your lawn always looks very nice. So, if you have any questions, leave them below. I'll walk you through or send you over to some of other of our videos or some videos of other guys that have put out good stuff on these robot mowers. As always, we appreciate your time. Please give us a like in this video. Subscribe to the channel for more content on these and also tools. Thanks again. Have a great day.